Hi, my name is Mike. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this LED wall. Okay, to start with, you're going to want to head over to, to solderlab.de. It's not my website, I'm just using their, web, uh, their software. Um, you want to head over to the software section and find Gladiator. It's the name of the so software that we're using. Um, I'm not going to go through every step of installing. Basically just follow their, their directions. Um, I found the, the hardest part is probably getting this uh, RXTX library installed correctly. Uh, if you get that, it's, everything else is probably, you'll be fine. Um, I was, I'm using WS2801 pixels. Uh, I'm using the in, in form like that. They're kind of like a Christmas light style. You can also get them in uh, strips. Um, just depending on what you want to get. Okay, this is the back of my panels. Um, originally when I built it, I built, just built the one panel and I had it going this way. Uh, everything worked out really good. So I turned the display this way, built three more panels that way and um, that's why it's like that. I also, when I originally built it, I had each panel separated by a few inches, just mounted and separated. That's why I had the wires like this, um, just how they were displayed. But uh, now I've ganged, ganged them all together uh, as one solid piece. Um, uh, for power, I have two power supplies. They're both five volt power supplies. One feeds into this side and feeds into the string this way. The other one feeds in to this side and feeds in this way. Also, when the power gets to here, it actually feeds both sides of each panel. So each, each panel gets full power everywhere um, for control. I have uh, this little switch here that switches just the data and the clock lines, the, the green and the white. The, the power stays constant from the power supplies no matter what. Um, in the up position, it switches to this controller, which I bought from a supplier online um, from China. Uh, this is pretty hard to use and program, so um, I don't really use it. It has a SD card. You have to use a software. The software is pretty hard to program the scenes and it also has a little RF remote which is nice and you can cycle through scenes but um, honestly I like the Gladiator software better. So in the down position it switches data and clock to the Teensy which The green corresponds to the green input input of the first pixel. Be sure you're using the input side. Pixels have an input and an output. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, on mine, on the chip side was the input, and the back side was the output. But just confirm that on your pixels. Um, the green is the clock, goes to pin 13, and that's defined in the sketch, in the Arduino sketch. Um, and the white is the data, goes to pin 11. And my uh, type of pixel types is a WS2801. Um, some other info. Um, and that's pretty much it, I think. Um, and then just uh, obviously, uh, the board is powered off the USB, which comes over here. And I connect that to my computer. Okay, so just want to give a little better detail on the connection to the Teensy. Uh, we got the green wire which is connected to pin 13, which is the clock, and connects to the green on my pixels on the input side. 
then we have the yellow wire which is the data which connects to the white wire on my strip then we have the ground this is important the ground has to connect back to the ground of the power supply that is feeding the power also on my strips the red is the positive and the blue is the ground negative um, so just confirm that on your strips and make sure that you ground the board back to the power supply and I think that's it okay this is the front of my panels uh, as I said before I previously just built one panel and then three more to add it on um, another good reason why I did this was that one big piece of plexiglass was going to be quite expensive compared to th uh, three more smaller ones since I already had the, bought the one. Um, this was just a standard clear plexi that I sanded down with a fine grade sandpaper on my electric sander. Um, just kept sanding. Uh, I made sure to sand directions going this way and then back this way and if you can kind of see it kind of gives it a little some of a, a grid I was thinking maybe that might help with the pixelation look and um, you can also see that the boxes aren't really perfect everywhere the cardboard not really being uniform but honestly when it's on and working the lights so powerful that you don't notice any of that um, be careful drilling holes in it you can crack it very easily um, just don't push too hard uh, and also uh, I kind of countersunk all the everything so everything's flush um, I also mounted this bar across the top where I hang it from and then another bar across the back just to add it added support um, also kind of a, a handle to grip when, when lifting and mounting um, okay well, I'll show you how to hook it up to the computer okay so I got my panel uh, I got the USB it's coming from the Teensy uh, I just have it here going to uh, USB to uh, uh, RJ45 extender so I can run it a further distance uh, and back to the USB to my computer here um, and then in the software you're going to open the, the Gladiator software we're going to go to options going to matrix size my matrix size is 28 by 14 so 28 pixels by 14 28 to 14 so you will enter yours in there apply changes done options output here output mode uh, mine's already all set because I've already had everything set so um, I'm just here to go and make sure you get the gladiator protocol uh, you can also control other stuff here um, it's the only one I really know about uh, mapping mode single pixels I'm sorry uh, pixel order VSBL that means vertical snake bottom left so it's a vertical snake going this way starting at the bottom left that this is where the the first pixel input is so vertical snake bottom left starting there is snaking all the way through through each one so that's important to, to you get that correct um, board order that's only if you're having boards of pixels which we're not covering here um, color order some pixels are not red green blue so if your colors do not match um, you can adjust this until uh, you find the correct one um, ok 
okay. Um, com, this is my USB right here, baud rate, and then you're gonna have to make sure serial open. Right now it says serial is closed. So once you serial open, then everything's grayed, grayed out. Apply changes, done. Now it should be controlling, so I'm gonna select one of these program when you select something it doesn't really give you a feedback that you select it so I always click a couple times um, I'm gonna set that to the left side which right there and instantly it's showing up here um, this kind of works like a DJ mixer you have like two two sides and this is your main output um, and then you got like a fader across um, so let's put something on the right so put the blue these little things are you can save little scenes um, and you can also order little scenes up over here and play them back um, uh, there's also some effects in here which are kind of nice the, the level effect when you trigger it to the sound level and then if you set up um, the audio input you can uh, actually take like a big basically it's like a sound trigger from the microphone and make everything flash to the beat uh, which is nice um, what else? Well, actually if you can see I'm having problems with some of my pixels over here so that pixel right there is probably with the problem with output uh, yeah I've had a problem with this one before and you can't really solder them too much inside I mean so I just put a zip tie on it which clamped it down a little bit and gave it better reliability previously but it looks like now we're having problems again yeah. um, let's stop this and show you there's also another program Jinx this program works with the same Arduino sketch so if you gotta work on one it should work on the other as long as you get it set up correctly um, let's see so I already have this set up um, See how do we set this up? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna stop the output. Same, same kind of idea. Let's stop the output. Uh, matrix options on this one. Uh, 28, 14. I don't know if that's focusing. So let's see all that stuff. Output devices. So, Gladiator. Column four. Basically using everything, the same settings. Um, output patch. This is where you have to set up. And basically, I just had to set up the you know the my starting point is here and it's snaking everywhere. Um, there's a way to do that fast patch and you tell it your starting point you set all your stuff uh, they name it a little different their patch mode um, so mine would, would have been column wise starting bottom left and on the other one they called it snake snake or vertical snake so 
basically the same thing. Uh, a little different. A few, few things I like about this one, but I prefer Gladiator. And that's pretty much it. Um, go back to Gladiator, show you. That you always, see it's not working, you always gotta go to your output, serial open, it's working again. Um, and obviously you can go through and program quite a bit more. Uh, I haven't even messed around with programming the scenes. Um, but definitely look into doing the audio triggering. That's that's really nice and it works pretty well. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.